This is part two of the outdoor equipment. And in this video, I will show you how you can work out your upper back, biceps, also your abdominals and shoulders with body weight only. And of course, with the help of equipment that you can find outside. Now the first exercise is a pull up performed on a pull up bar that is actually made for kids. But for some reason they make very high pull up bars as well. And I really don't know how those small kids can actually get up there. Pull up chin ups and hanging leg and knee raises can all be performed on the equipment that I will show you in this video. So, so all the bars that you will see in this video can actually be used for pull up and chin ups. And there is one more equipment that you can find outside but I couldn't find a, a decent one which is a tree branch that is thick enough to support your weight. If you have seen some of my other outside workout videos and you probably know what this is. This is a soccer goal and I find it very useful for performing any kind of pull ups as well as dips and leg raises. And this is because this one is a very strong object. You don't have to be afraid of bending the bar or even breaking it which would be quite inconvenient as you probably will have to pay for it then. And that's not what I want because I want a free workout outside. If you're a little bit creative and know how you work, how to work out specific muscle groups, then it is quite easy to find improvised equipment like this one. Like with a lot of my videos, I just try to inspire you to find out creative ways to work out as well as trying to find out what works for you. So what exercises are good for you personally and how many sets, reps and how much weight that you want to use. This means that some of these videos are far from complete because if I look around me I will probably find a lot of ways to perform specific exercises for different muscle groups. So to see what your city or town has to offer you if it comes to improvised equipment just go outside and have a look and make sure that everything is safe and also strong enough for your weight because a lot of kids playing ground should be safe but that does not mean that they actually are safe. You just saw a blooper that I already showed in the first part of this video and actually I don't really have that many bloopers from my filming so usually when I'm filming and do make some bloopers I will put them in the video so this means that most of my videos are blooper free and that's quite ironic because in my daily life I make quite some bloopers and drop things on the floor and I often walk against things like I usually walk against the doorway with my shoulders because I already think that I can turn to the left which isn't so then I meet the doorway However, I do make quite some mistakes when I'm narrating or actually talking live into the camera. And this is first of all because English is not my first language. But most of all because I'm not really that much of a talker anyway. So I usually have to cut out big parts in which I'm thinking. So then I am halfway through a sen sentence and then I just can't remember what I was talking about. And then I have to start over because most of what I'm telling you right now is simply improvised on the spot. So I don't really have any scripts. And I really don't read from a paper, although I do sound like a robot sometimes, but that's probably just the way I sound. If you like, you can put in a comment in which you tell me and tell the other viewers what your biggest fail moment was or what your biggest blooper was. So let me know about that and I will comment on the fun ones if I notice them. So make sure that they are original and also that there is no cursing in it because I don't really like to delete all the comments that do have some cursing words in it. If you are performing hanging crunches like this one make sure that you don't hang too high because when you fall you will fall on your head and also make sure that the bars are pretty close to each other which will make it easier to stay on the bar. So click on the video for part 1 or and to see how you can perform chest and triceps exercises. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. And I will see you next time. You see, that was one of my bloopers. It took me 30 minutes to make this narration for a video of 4 minutes.
Well, almost five. Another blooper.